Hey, all my lovely sugars. Hope everybody is doing fabulous today at the start of the week. Uh, I am doing wonderful. Um, it's been a it's been a rough week, but doing good, doing good. So today I'm going to be answering some tag tag questions that Lizette uh, Crafts and Tells uh, tagged me in. So I really appreciate Lizette. Uh, asking me to participate in this. So I am going to answer the five tag questions that I think was started by Susie. Um, and I am going to tag uh, Gem and Jess and Jeremy JTMJ Crafts. So you two lovely sugars, um, I would love it if you would answer these tag questions as well. So I am working on a beautiful, what is it called? Beach Beautiful Bridge by Diamond Art Club. This is a square diamond painting kit that I am working on for Adam, my husband, to put in his office. And I've had it for a while and I just haven't, haven't worked on it. So I'm working on this until Drills and Chills starts, which is by the time you see this will be tomorrow, September 1st. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I do want to welcome a new channel member, uh, Roxify. Thank you so much for joining uh, the channel. Uh, you joined as a VIP Sassy member, so that means you get quarterly Wee Wax gifts. Um, so yay. Yay, yay. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, we're going to get into this. So this is Beach Beautiful Bridge by Diamond Art Club. I've got a cover minder here my friend Jill sent me. Um, another cover minder from Patriot Team. Muni Matray, I've got a Lazy River pen and a um, Butterfly Effect Wears pen, and I'm using Wee Wax and Randa's Putty. Okay, I think I've I think I've covered everything. Um, okay, so the first question in the tag: What is my favorite completed canvas? I had to think about this for a while because I have so many, um, but I have to say I think. It is probably going to be Imagine by Rachel Froud that was offered by TSA. And I'm going to put pictures up of each one of these that I reference. So whatever you're working on, if you just pop your head up and look, I'm going to put a picture up of the ones that I'm talking about. So Imagine by Rachel Froud is the giant, beautiful sea turtle in the rainbow of colors. And I really enjoyed working on that canvas. I know a lot of people have had issues in the past with the smaller drills from Treasure Studios Art. I mean, yes, I had some, some clumping issues and some static issues, but I really loved the smaller drills from TSA. And I was very sad when um, they announced that they were no longer going to be using um, those drills. Because um, I just, I feel like the smaller drills give the same amount of detail that a square uh, gives, but all good. Um, I do have some new kits from TSA with the newer drills. I just haven't had a chance to work on them yet. So that is a goal of mine for next year. So yeah, so I would say the beautiful sea turtle from uh, Treasure Studios Art is my favorite completed canvas. Okay, uh, the second question is a diamond painting I can't wait to start that is not part of an event. I also had to think about this one as well. Um, I do have Quite a few in my stash and um, I really had to think okay what's what's one that I really want to start and I have to say it's the hot air balloons canvas uh, from craftably and I'll put a picture up here um, it's just such a beautiful diamond painting and it just makes me smile when I look at it don't mind my computer just needs some air it's a laptop, and you're probably going to hear my cat in the background crying because I'm not paying her any attention. But yeah, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful diamond painting. So um, that is one that I am really looking forward to working on. Um, so yes. All right. And number three, my favorite diamond painting artist. I would have to say it would be... Now, I had a few, and I hope that's okay to put a few. My first one is Andy Russell. Andy Russell is an amazing artist. Um, his diamond paintings are with mystical diamond art. 
and I've collected all of his diamond paintings. I have, I think it's seven or eight of them uh, sitting over here. And I just, I love his style. It's like a contemporary style and all of his trees and bushes have a rounded shape to them. And I'll put a picture up here of one that I completed. Um, I just, I absolutely love him. I would say he is my favorite landscape artist. Um, and then for people or animals, it would have to be Jasmine Beckett Griffith or Sheena Pike. Uh, those are my two favorites. I just absolutely love both of them. They are very, very just amazing artists. And I'm looking forward to doing more um, artwork, you know, more diamond paintings from them. So, yes. All right, that was number three. Who is my favorite DP artist? Number four, what event are you most looking forward to? Well, I'm really looking forward to drills and chills. I've already picked out my canvas. Um, I'm super, super excited uh, to join that event. It's one that I look forward to. Um, they did it last year. It's just, it's a great event, great event. And this year they're incorporating all crafts into the event, not just diamond painting, which I think is Perfect. Perfect. So that way, you know, no one feels left out and people can do um, other other crafts as well. So awesome. So yes, drills and chills. Uh, number five, what diamond painting goals do you have between now and the end of the year? Okay. <laughs> the first diamond painting goal, if it's considered a goal, um, is to stop buying so many diamond painting pens y'all it's it's out of control and what happens is i'm i'm a night person so at night i lay in bed until like 3 4 5 a.m and i just look at etsy or i look at you know instagram or what have you facebook sometimes i'm not really a facebook person but i just i see all these things and i'm like okay it's time for the 4 a.m random random purchases <laughs> and i buy all these things and i just I have so many pens and it's just, I'm trying really hard to support a lot of um, small businesses in the community, which if you all have been following me know, I love to support small businesses. Um, but I really need to cut back on buying so many pens because I just, I have so many of them and I just, I don't need all these pens. And I know we don't need any of you know, the awesome accessories that we have, but yeah, I'm, I'm like running out of room. So, so that is a goal. Um, I'm not going to make any promises is to cut back on <laughs> buying pens between now and the end of the year. Um, the second goal I have is to work on my whips, which stands for works in progress. I have seven active whips right now. Um, so I really want to work on those. This one being one of them, uh, I just, I really want to knock those out. So that is a goal that I have between now and the end of the year. Those are my two main goals between now and the end of the year. So those were the five questions. Um, I really appreciate Lizette tagging me in those questions. And again, like I said, I am going to, I am tagging Jeremy, JTMJ Crafts, and Jem and Jess. I hope you all have not already answered this tag. I... I looked through your videos and I didn't see a headline saying that you had answered the tag. So hopefully, hopefully you haven't already answered it. If you have, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, just a quick video for today just to show you, um, first of all, show you my progress on this beautiful diamond painting and to answer the tag question. I also want to say I'm just... I'm super thrilled at all of the support and kindness that everyone showed on the video of me introducing diamond painting to my mom. She was overwhelmed by just everyone's just, just how nice they were um, in the comment section. Um, I went over to her house and helped her set up her craft area. If you follow me on Instagram, I put a picture up of her, you know, where she's going to diamond paint in her office. And I got her a ring light and she can see everything now. So um, she's very excited. But while I was setting that up, uh, she was looking through some of the comments. So 
I just can't thank y'all enough. I hope she sticks with it. Um, she does seem to be a little overwhelmed. Um, has a lot of questions, as we all did when we started diamond painting. Um, you know, it's normal. And she's been she's been texting me and calling me a lot, which I'm fine with. I'm perfectly fine with. I'm happy to help her, and I hope that she does continue um, continue to diamond paint. So. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you a little update on that. I will definitely keep um, keep all of you informed as far as her progress. I will have progress pictures of what she's doing. Um, hopefully I can get her. Um, I thought about getting her on a live with me if she will do it. She's very intimidated by, uh, you know, being on camera, but um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that work on that. So hopefully she can get on and, you know, talk to all of you and get to know all of you and just, I really want her to see what an awesome community um, we have here and just how amazing all you shugs are. So, yes. All right. Checkerboard method works wonderful for me uh, with diamond, with square diamonds. I really am enjoying that. So, okay. So that was just a quick video to answer the tags. Um, so I will have all of um, all of uh, the links down below in the description. I'll have Lizette's YouTube channel. I'll have Gem and Jess's YouTube channel, Jeremy's YouTube channel. I'll have a link to this canvas as well as everything that I'm using today. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below. Um, yeah, so thank you again, and I hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous start to your week. Bye, guys.